Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database and create a table and then table columns, insert values into table columns, read from the table, update the table and the del deletion operation as well. So all four operations using PostgreSQL PG admin database management uh, GUI oops so I need to enter the password so let me go ahead and type in the password to launch my PG admin so this is PG admin GUI basically database management interface for PostgreSQL so I've installed PostgreSQL 13 on this system which is the most latest release of Postgres. And so to launch it, I assume that you already have installed it. To launch PG admin, you can press Windows key and type PG and launch it from here. Or, or you can simply click on the start menu and locate your PG, sorry, Postgre SQL folder, which is 13 at this moment. And launch your pg admin 4 from here as soon as you launch it it's going to start the server and open this interface in your default browser now in the next video i'm going to use this command prompt basically windows 10 command prompt to access database and do the same thing create table sorry database table and perform crawl operation but in this video, I'm going to use PG admin. So I assume that you already have launched your PG admin. So let's get started. So you can unfold this server and you will have all the databases here. So I've got three databases. So this database was already created when I installed it. And then I've gone ahead and created these two four uh, databases. So when you create a database, in PG admin, it, it creates everything by default. Uh, under schema, you will have all your table tables here. And then I've got one table blog and then few columns in it. So I've got three columns, ID, title, and body. Okay. And similarly, as you keep adding on things, you will be getting under their respective um, tabs here so that's the very simple interface similarly goal goes with this students database that i've just created go ahead go ahead and check under schemas and you got one table and this is few columns here one two three four so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how you can delete this table one of the databases and so right click on the database that you want to delete and go to delete slash drop and simply say yes. You might get an error. This happens. Okay, so this was just deleted. You might get an error. So if you get such any error while deleting a database, just refresh it and try again by just right pressing and going to delete drop and that will be deleted. So now we'll go ahead and create a database, then a table, then define its columns, insert values into columns, read from the column, insert, read, and update, delete everything, all four operations. So to create a database, right click on this databases, go on to create and click on this database, that only option you have here. Now you have to name your database. So I'm going to say, let's say i want to say it's two or whatever uni students so we got uni students that's the database name you can select the user with all the privileges to make changes to to this database on this database I'm going to have this root username assigned to it. then you can have some comments definition 
here security parameters all those things but this is very bare minimum database explanation you can go ahead and say save and this will be created so now we have this uni students university students whatever you call it and then we have nothing in this table so what i'm going to do there are two ways to create table in here so you can right click and create and then go to query tools that's the a way to create and interact with the database the other way you can right click on the table and create a table from here you'll get the create table wizard you can name it then you define columns cons constraints partitions parameters security and all those things but we are going to use this uh, query editor which is very intuitive very user friendly editor and what it has you can type in your query your SQL query in here and as soon as you execute it by pressing this execute button or pressing F5 on the keyboard it should show now yeah so all the messages will be displayed in here under messages tab so output messages succeeded or within if you get any error all will be displayed here okay so what did i do so i can delete it here scratch pad so now it looks simple what we need you can separate these two as well so now you can see we have selected the uni students database and we can go ahead and create a table so to create a table we are going to simply say create table remember sql is not a case sensitive language you can type sql keywords in uppercase or lowercase does not matter so create table and the name of the table i'm simply going to say uh, undergrads undergrads okay and then we are going to define the table columns so we can get into here and define all the table. so std id is going to be one column it's going to be integer and it's also going to be primary key and that's it that's the first column std id std name it's going to be var character and it's going to have the maximum you cannot have it now the next is std course yes, the course it's also going to be our character you can have a program a study program that's perfectly fine you cannot have it now okay so std stream var character and this can have 120 so that's our uh, four columns definition for this table that we are going to create undergrads okay very simple now you can go ahead and press f5 or this execute button and you should have this created successfully 136 seven microseconds so if i go ahead and refresh you anytime you execute your queries from here you need to refresh that particular corresponding field so we have all four co columns here created now we can go ahead and insert some values so 
to insert value is very simple we are going to insert values in all four columns so you can simply say insert into and under oops grads now if you want to skip anything you cannot skip any column here so you can define your columns like column for the values that you're going to insert into so std name std sorry name std course std stream so these are four columns if you do not want to um, type the column names you will have to go with the order so first is std id name course and stream and this in the same order you will have to feed the values so you can simply say values and then remember you can just enter one set of value or multiple so first we'll do the once first one set and then multiple sets without the column names std so id is going to be one name is going to be one more thing so whenever you have to type in any string go with the single course with pj admin uh, post gray sql in general so i'm going to say ram sing uh, course is going to be let's say mm, BA simply BA and Hindi that's language and then stream is also going to be Hindi so that's the first thing so first row on this table you can simply go ahead and press this execute button or f5 so make sure you don't have any typo here so std id std name course stream under grad or oh, you see i i keep making such typos so this is why i make sure i check it okay so let's go ahead and execute it and you have it in less than 0.1 minute say sorry second now we'll go without the, the table names table uh, columns so now you can go ahead and simply enter multiple values but the only thing you have to remember is the order so raj singh vca And that's going to be English. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to copy it and paste it over. The only thing you have to make sure that this is primary key, so you, it has to be unique every time. Guru Singh. I'm not sure how to type it and thus the way you can have multiple rows here so I'm going to press F5 again now this is how you insert values into created tables to read it you simply say select everything star means everything from and then table name under oops, grads f5 you got everything here so let's update something something in in any of these values so to update you simply type update update and then the table name 
okay so the table name is under oops, grants and then you have to type set so set any row value so let's say we want to change this set uh, std course equal to std stream equal to oops, that has to be in single column english where std id equal to one okay so you are updating undergrads table setting these columns with new values where id is one you can simply go ahead and execute it std what happened column std course you see i forgot something i did not check it <laughs> the typo you see So here we go this is how you update something in the table now we will go ahead and create something like some row particular row on the table so let's say you simply say delete delete from table name under its grads everything like where std id equal to 2 f5 make sure i've got everything and you have it so this is how you create a database create a table define your columns insert values in it read from it update it and then delete it Alrighty, so this is it for this video guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. The next video, I'm going to do everything that I've done here using Microsoft Windows Command Prompt. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.